Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to see how we can transform data using data flow in Azure Data Factory. And in this process, we will learn how to create and use data flow in Azure Data Factory. Data flows provide a way of transformation of data at a scale without writing too much code. And we can design data transformation job using data flow designer UI. And we can construct using series of transformation activities and steps inside that one. And then we can uh, we can have source transformation, we can have sync, and between we can have a lot of different kind of actions such as if you want to filter, if you want to aggregate or something like that. And for this demo, we are going to create a data factory. We will create a storage also, upload a movie related data set, and then we will create a pipeline data flow activity. We will see that how we can add source and destination and transformation in between. We will run that. We will monitor and then we will see that output also. So for this demo, we are in our Azure portal and uh, this is our subscription where we will do the demo and we have created one resource group with Softbase data flow demo because we are going to have demo for data flow. So let's go ahead and create resources. So we will create two resources for this demo. One will be data factory. And second will be a storage. So let's go ahead and quickly create both of the things. Let me create data factory. Let's put the name data flow demo. Let's see, this is already existing. So we can put the name Softbase data flow demo. And it is taking now. So Let's put the name as Mobius Store. Software Mobius Store. Let's put the name. And it let's keep that LRS one. And let's enable the radical name space. That's all we have to do this for this demo. So our resource has been created. Let me go inside our data lake. And let me create container for this, this demo. And I'm going to create a sample iPhone data container. And in this container, I'm going to create one directory called movie store. Movies store. Input. Let's put that. In this movie store input, let's upload a file. I have one file as a demo that has movie related information. So if we go in, open the CSV file, right? We are seeing that this movie file has movie title, genre, years, rating, and tom Rotten Tomato ratings and other things are there. So let's go ahead and upload this file and So this will be our input and let's create one more directory for output. Data flow. Okay. Now let's go to our ADF. We will open our ADF. Let's launch studio. Once our studio has been launched, we can go directly either create new pipeline or we can create new data flow or orchestrate any way we can go. So let's go into create data flow. Let's give a proper name. Let's add a source. And for source, let's put the name and we will put that Maybe DB. Let's create a new data set. In data set will be in Gen2. We have in delimited text. We can say maybe DB 
data set let's select link service we do not have link service so let's create a link service let's select from our subscription we can go for manually and putting all the details but let's select for subscription we can go for different authentication for this demo i'm keeping that one we have this movie store let's test this connection connection is successful let's create this link service now let's browse this file system we can go with that and our input is here and then movie csv is there so if you see simple data movie input and this details are here and we can mark first row as a header as we open and saw that into our file okay so this is our movie db store is there right now we can go for next step we can uh, before going to next step we can check our data also if you want to see that how it looks like so in data preview we have to enable the data flow debug and then we can see so it asks all the details about what integration runtime we are going to use in time to live so let keep the default one it is going to create a cluster and then it, it will enable all the settings so that we can have a preview let's refresh this we are able to see our data now let's another activity and we are going to do filter let's filter this data based on year right and what we are going to put in the filter let's put the expression and we can use something similar to this one like let's convert whatever year column is there into integer and then greater than some date some year and then till the time less than 2000 and then a uh, generous are in like comedy that if we see that our data the genre is there x and comedy and other things so that we can take let's save and finish and if you want to see the preview we can go ahead and refresh here in the c preview Now, as I put the uh, genre, uh, we can see that only comedy is there. And if we wanted to go it here and see that one, we can see the details also that. Let's see here. Here, if you see action and adventure, sci-fi and other things is there. But here, the different data is coming after doing all the fi um, uh, filter. And year is also different. So we can see the details. Now let's add if we want to do aggregation, right? Aggregate of anything. So let's put that aggregation also. And in aggregation, we can put that okay, any name like a, a aggregate comedy uh, ratings. We can do that also. And in that our section here, it is saying group by or year. So we can say that group by year. Let's do that okay and aggregate which column we are going to have aggregate so let we can select that and let's put the name as average comedy rating we can put and we can put the expression like this average to integer to rating right we can do that and let's see the data preview one more time so year and average rating is coming now and aggregation is happening now if you want to save this data into any sync let's have the sync let's put some proper name and it will be in data set and let's create a new data set 
and we know that we have data into gen2 so we can select gen2 let's put this into deleted text we can have let's put this name okay and then we can use the link service let's put that first row as a header let's browse this path let's put into data flow output Uh, this is going with sync movie name. Let's put that. So now we have given this one. Let's publish this flow. Now to run this one, we can go in pipeline and create one pipeline. And if we go into move and transform, we have this data flow activity. And in data flow activity, we can go in setting and we can select whatever data flow we have created, right? And then we have to provide compute size. If compute size is medium, large, or small, we have very small, so we let's skip that way. And then once we are done, let's publish this change also. And we can have schedule trigger, tumbling trigger, and other details, but let's trigger right now for monitoring purpose now it is running let's see the view pipeline details this is our flow this is being loaded right now it is in queue it is acquiring compute number of activity or transformation which we have for it is source then we are doing filter by years and then we are doing aggregation and then sync we are doing if we see the details, it will come into stages. These are the stages, transformation, and then a stage ID will be coming. So let's see. So now it is started and ran. So we are able to see successful. And if we go in details, uh, it was calculated that there was 9,000 around row. It took all this time, right? And then you filter by year if you see after that filter by year was 2000 and then aggregation and row became 83 and then aggregation was stored so this is how it is going to be executed and if we go a little bit more details let's go in a little bit more details if you see this is a transformation how much row is there you can see here and we can see the stages also what happened over there all the details and if we see the lineage, lineage is also type of coming that what was the original source and how it got changed. So we can find the lineage details also. Apart from we can go into all stream and we can see a little bit more details. Let's go back to our storage and let's go to data flow. Now we see that these uh, files are available inside this CSP, the part files in the part file wise it is there and let's see some data if we can see so here it is stored into part by file we if we want to store a single csv file we can go ahead, ahead out and do that also we have to just uh, change some settings into our adf pipeline if we go into data flow activity uh, so here in settings, we can go uh, and see that, okay, uh, what option we can output to a single file and then output a single file required single partition to be selected. This, yeah, right. This can impact our performance and this is okay for um, that thing, a smaller data set, but not good for uh, bigger ones. That is why we should not do that one. And whatever default behavior is there, we should be leveraging that one. So. This is the demo I wanted to show you that how basically we can design data flow using this data flow activity into ADF. I hope that now we know the basic concept of data flow in ADF. Thank you.